All right, today's video is all about my man Justin has joined the Mix Academy. He took me up on the Behind the Glass course. It's a free course, the link in the description. He watched it. Actually, he upgraded, purchased the All Access Bundle, which gets you the session, the session files, the multi-tracks, bonus tutorial videos, all kinds of cool stuff in that. Of course, link in the description. He sent his mix that he did, um, I believe, in Luna. And this was before watching the tutorials or transferring his session over into my template. This video is all about mix translation, right? Let's take a listen. This is his before mix, before the Mix Academy. <laughs> Right, so we got a good mix. You can tell he's talented. He's got a great ear. Um, I think what's probably going on here, and after talking with him in today's live call, it's trusting mixes to translate. It's what does it sound like in, out in other systems? And so for this one, I've got upper mid issues. We've got some harshness that we need to deal with, all that kind of stuff, right? Well, even before, the, the mix I'm about to play for you is going to get even better because I'm about to do a critique and we're going to take it to another level. Let's take a listen once again, a snippet of that, and then I'll click over to his new mix featuring my exact template, took it and transferred it into a new session, and uh, here we go. <laughs> And then the new mix. Oh, yes. So we've got punch, we've got kick, we've got low end. Uh, this thing has just exploded. We've got volume, we've got more compression, but this genre is just screaming to be. Ugh, aggressive, and I feel like we gave him that. So uh, I'm going to get Justin. I'm going to ask him for an interview so we can talk about his process. You can hear it from the horse's mouth. You've got the mid-range is now cutting. Those guitars are no longer as harsh. That's going to translate so much better to multiple sets of speakers. I've already listened on Buds. Get the Buds out. Um, how many people in the world are listening on Apple earbuds? I got the Bluetooth speaker, and then I'm a big fan of Sienna. Acoustica Sienna, those of you who have VSX, very similar stuff. Open this up. We're going to check on NS10s, the Mix Cube, all that kind of stuff. Just getting those guitars and to, to get the drums punching like that. What a transformation, man. So shout out to Justin. Those of you guys actually who are interested, I've got a Mix Translation workshop tomorrow. So if you're watching this, what is it, Thursday the 8th, you could still sign up. We've got a live mix event for uh, the Mix Translation Workshop. It's gonna be an incredible time. We're gonna go through how to get your mix to translate. We're gonna look at the mid-range. We're gonna look at the low end because often you hear people, it's like, the magic's in the mid-range. Yes, I agree with that. What is it, JJP said, the soul of the mix is in the mid-range. Love that quote. Uh, but you gotta remember how many people are listening with subs and with car stereos with subs and um, TV systems that have the full experience. Getting a mix to translate is not just about the mid-range. We got to get that bottom in right. We got to get the top in, making sure it's not harsh or tinny or ruining the mix. You can have an incredible bottom in mid range, but then you get this sibilance or stuff going on in the top end, and it's just taking someone's head off. They're going to reach for the volume knob. We want them to be able to crank it and enjoy the mix and not get uh, blown away by upper mid harshness and all that kind of stuff. So, mix translation workshop. I'll put the link in the description for that, and then we'll have it after the fact. It will be for a replay. You can still purchase it. Uh, the price is going to go up if you don't jump on it during the launch. So definitely check that out. Now let's take a look. A couple of techniques that really make a huge difference. First up is the, the referencing technique. And here I've already got it dialed in in my template here to do the mix critique. We're going to go down, we're going to go to the subs and we're going to take a look at what's going on down here. And we're going to reverse engineer what we're hearing. If we hear issues with the punch and the kick or the sustain in the bass or are they clashing and is there uh, too much going on around the same fundamental, the kick fundamental, if it's at 50, 60, um, we might need to bring back some of that frequency range in the bass or there may have been, a, the bass might have been recorded with almost no subs. You may have to boost, get a pull tech and just crank on it. So let's take a listen. Let's hear what's going on down here in his original mix, 30, 40 hertz. So we got some pulse, we got some punch from the kick. Very, I wouldn't say punch. We got some sub frequencies going, but it's not a dominant punch like you would expect from a kick drum. Let's click over to his new mix. Kick is way more defined. You got an articulate, punchy, you got the attack, right? It's not like a pillowy, low end thing happening. Let's click back over to his original and open it up a bit more. Bass doesn't come in until around 90 hertz or so. 
Let's actually fast forward. There we go. So it's not a bad bottom end. You get kick and you get bass, and there's not a lot of mud down there. But the kick is not as defined as I would love for it to be, and the bass is not glued with the kick drum. So let's click over. Let's see what he's got in the new mix. That's just awesome, man. It's punching. The kick is serving its purpose. The bass is wrapped around it. You got the, the low end. Energy is there. You're not just getting one or the other. You get both, and they're equal, just like, ah, kicking butt. Let's open it up a bit more and see what we got in the low mids. Deep, punchy snare. Very different low mid energy. So that mix on smaller speakers is just not going to cut it. Um, depending upon the frequency response, the smaller speakers, you're really going to need kind of the, the 200 to 600 range. I mean, that's your low end on a small set of speakers, a Bluetooth speaker and that kind of thing. Uh, you want to make sure you give attention to your mix. A lot of guys are just coming in and scooping the crap out of the mid range. I know Fletcher Munson curves and all that, but you get rid of too much of that and you lose the song in... Uh, on smaller speakers. So that's where they say, you know, the mix, the magic is in the mid range. That's where a lot of that is coming from. Uh, let's open this up a bit. Let's hear like 200 to 600. Here's the original. I love a chunky snare, man. I, I love it. Um, I think we could control the transient with this one, and I'm about to do a critique for Justin. I think we're going to talk about some clipping of the snare to control it so it's not so pokey, but you maintain that presence on top of the mix. I love a loud kick-snare combo. The other thing is the energy, the low-end energy, the low-mid energy, excuse me, uh, just such a much better mix. It's not as thin. It doesn't feel weak. It feels like grabby by the, you know what. Uh, so moving on, let's open this up a little bit more. Again, that mid range in the 800 to 2K range, very weak in his original mix, whereas now really the guitars are living in that harsh 4k um my friends over at nail the mix the whole f4k the, you guys will know what i'm talking about i'm i say three to five k they say 4k same diff right so we've got the guitars are controlled in that upper mid-range in the new mix and then we've also got more meat in the 1k range but we've still got the vocal cutting through let's find a section where the vocal is wow. Yeah, so the vocal is already kind of there in the original, but it had no support if it was just kind of hung out to dry. So the vocal was good in that original mix. It's certainly sitting on top. Versus. Just such a much more powerful mix. Anyways, wanted to show that off. Props to my man Justin for trusting me to help him with his mixes. Hey, if you guys want to do the same, links in the description. I'm going to get him on for an interview, talk more about it, but I got to rush off and do this mix critique. Last call for the mix translation workshop. Definitely check that out. This is exactly what I'm going to be helping you do with this workshop. I think we got launch price of 67 bucks. After the fact, it's going to go back up uh, 97 minimum and uh, would love to have you in that course. So appreciate you guys and we'll see you on the next one.